Hi everybody, hope you're well. Thanks for clicking on my channel. So what are we talking about today? Uh, we'll be talking about this, the uh, Evo City tank bag from those lovely people, SW Motec. Um, those of you who've been following my vlogs on my uh, lovely KTM 890R, which has done about just under a thousand miles, um, you'll see that I've done a few vlogs of bits and pieces I, I've put on the bike, etc. So uh, the game plan was to go to uh, Snowdonia and the Brecon Beacons in Wales. Well, we've already been and gone, so I'm doing the video on that as we uh, speak. Uh, then that'll be coming out very shortly in the next uh, five days or so. Um, the game plan was to take the 890R complete with a uh, Krieger US 20 uh, waterproof uh, bag uh, just uh, strapped to the back of the bike. Uh, so taking the rear cowl off, putting the seat pad back on and then uh, strapping that on and then maybe taking a, a little rucksack for some light stuff. I uh, didn't want to hurt my back too much, put too much strain on the back. But uh, I was going to use this uh, SW Motec uh, Evo City tank bag, 11 litres expandable to uh, 15 once you've unzipped it. Uh, basically, I've had this for a few years now and I was using it with my uh, Honda Africa Twin behind me. Um, so in the end for the trip, I ended up using the Africa Twin because, uh, dare I say it, I actually didn't want to get this bike uh, muddy and mucky uh, in the uh, weather that was uh, forecast for the uh, four days that we were going to uh, be travelling uh, to uh, Wales. So left that one here and took the Africa Twin. Um, as I said, the Africa Twin's already got um, the uh, top or the tank ring so yeah just a case of uh, putting uh, straight on but I actually didn't take it uh, because I've got these uh, SW Motec hard cases um, so had I taken the 890R this is what I would have used but if you go to the SW Motec website uh, you'll see that uh, this bag is not down to uh, fit the 890R Duke for whatever reason um, it does fit so basically what I've had to do is buy a uh, a new uh, tank ring. I forgot what I was talking about that. Yeah, the new uh, a tank ring, adapter ring, uh, and that's very straightforward to fit. So that's already on there. Um, but uh, on the 890, uh, the tank rings, uh, compared to most other bikes, it fits the other way because of the way the fuel uh, filler cap works. So it means that um, the uh, top ring on the underside of the uh, Evotech bag, um, although that's the right way around for um, the Africa Twin, it means you've got to spin it around, very easy to, we'll do that very shortly, spin it around, but the problem you have there is the release pull uh, to take the tank bag, uh, disconnect it from the top ring, or the tank ring, um, it sits the other way around, so you end up with this cable out here. Um, so there's a very easy fix to that. Um, the bag fits beautifully. You can see here in the picture of how I would have taken the bike away. Uh, the tank bag fits really well on the KTM. Uh, there's no um, snagging of the handlebars. It doesn't get in your way when you're sat on the bike. Again, I'll show you very shortly. Uh, but yeah, this would have been a really good product to uh, take away. So sadly I didn't because I didn't want to get the bike uh, dirty. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to remove uh, the uh, top um, ring from here, spin it round and then show you how the bag fits uh, on the KTM 890. So let's do that now. Bag, so you've got four uh, Allen key uh, bolts there. So we're just going to take those out and then we'll just spin the top ring around, uh, refasten them and we'll put it straight on the bike. That's the four screws being removed. So we'll just spin the tank bag over and you'll see the uh, top ring. So we'll just uh, take the top ring off and then literally you've got those four um, bits on the bottom there and then just refit them to the holes, having turned it around, obviously. And then just refit the screws. So that's the four uh, screws have been refitted. And as you can see, the release uh, mechanism uh, sits the other way around. So let's uh, put it on the bike and I'll show you uh, how that works. We've got to do now is fit said tank bag onto said tank rim. It can go on first time, or it can be a bit of a fab and take a little while to go on, but that's it. That's the tank bags now on. And as you can see, uh, we have full lock left, full lock right, and it doesn't interfere with anything. And if you want to release it, you have enough uh, gap under the bottom here to uh, put your hand in 
and either you can leave uh, the original uh, strap on or I did have a shoelace uh, which I was going to take the uh, metal um, popper uh, part off to save me uh, scratching the tank and you just put a little shoelace on that or cable tie and then that means you can pull it and then release it but even if uh, this bit comes off you can still get your hand under there and just pull the, the bit of wire that's uh, there permanently so yeah so it does fit uh, really well and as I said there's enough space under here uh, worst case scenario if that uh, the, your cable tie uh, shoelace whatever came off you can and I've got diddy hands by the way you can uh, reach under and uh, hook your fingers through the loop of the metal wire so as I've done in this case here like that so yeah uh, the job's done uh, not a problem so the bag fits really well uh, no problems with uh, full left lock full right lock uh, and the only uh, potential issue is uh, getting to the uh, key to start the bike it's oh, I'll show you actually let's get the video and I'll show you how close it is so the reason I think that the bag is not listed on the official SW Motec as fitting the 890R is just this reason here um, with a gloved hand potentially although I don't think it is an issue whatsoever um, getting to, t to the ignition key to turn the thing on and off uh, may be a problem but you know what guys it's absolutely not a problem at all um, and I think the whole thing looks uh, really quite smart and as you can see under here uh, you've certainly got enough room to get your hand in and does it rest on the, the tank possibly a little bit but if you wanted to put some kind of protective uh, 3M clear tape on there or something like that you can do but you can see you've got enough room worst case scenario if you had a, um, something else on if you took this off so you didn't want to uh, scratch your tank uh, with a little bit of shoestring or something. Worst case scenario, if that came off, like I mentioned before, uh, you can still get your hand under there uh, to get the uh, wire release and pull the bag off. But yeah, I think it looks uh, pretty good, actually. Uh, it certainly goes uh, nicely with the lines of the bike. So just to show you, the tank bag fits really well. Uh, you've got full uh, movement of the handlebars. There's no restriction there whatsoever. It uh, doesn't get in the way of the knees, so you're still sat there as you would uh, be without the bag. And the chest as well, yeah, absolutely no problem whatsoever. As I said, it's 11 to 15 litres expandable. It comes with a, a waterproof uh, uh, cover, which I don't tend to use anyway. And you've got pockets on the outside. But all the information's on the SW Motec website and all the other YouTube channels as well. Uh, but yeah, so from me, uh, it does fit the 890R. Uh, you can leave the popper... Um, uh, strap on or take it off and put a uh, shoelace or a something else on if you don't want your tank being scratched. I've also got a Garmin Zumo XT mount fitted to the bike so with the tank bag fitted this is the kind of viewpoint I get being a 5 foot 9 average height rider uh, when I'm sat down on the bike so certainly enough uh, to use the screen even with the tank bag fitted. But other than that yeah guys it does fit it looks good uh, it's practical um, and the only downside really, it hasn't got a map pocket at the top. That would be my only negative uh, point there. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a good bag. It's a thumbs up from me and I can use it between my Africa Twin uh, or the KTM. So uh, as ever, uh, ride safe. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and please smash that subscription button down below. And I'll do a video of my Brecon Beacon tour in the next uh, five to seven days or so. Uh, thanks so much, uh, stay safe and have a great time. Bye bye.